<laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, what's the best part about being in a band? The best part. Um. Can we come back to that one? Yeah, that for was sure. A, that's a hard that's one. That's a hard one. That yeah. is a hard one. What's the best and worst show you've ever played? Ugh. Before I quit drinking, <sighs> there's just like, somebody sent me a video of, of that night where I was just like a little too drunk yeah. on stage. And it's just like, it's enough to just drive you crazy for him. Cause like I start off with the line, I'm going through the line so well, shit, I'm even playing guitar. I am leaning against this wall <laughs> cause I was like a little tipsy. And the line was supposed to be, I see what you see, except it bothers me. And like what I said instead was not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the best one and probably every show feels like the show like continues to be this bigger and bigger thing so when we got to put on the one that we shot for recourse's video um which was in real art i love real art i love, I love the, the people that own real art i love aaron i love yeah. like if i if i can go to play real art and get like the whole oh, experience always, man. it's like the real art's literally my favorite place to go ever. Yeah. I don't care that it's farther or whatever. I don't fan I like that play I'm like Ooh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be mobbing all I day. saw I've seen so many good shows there. Yeah. And I they continue to have like the right vibe for me. Oh yeah. But like I'm a DIY kid myself. Same. I'd rather I'd rather go to the house show. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I was really attracted to touring because I'm from the Midwest and I would just see bands come come and go all the fucking time and I always really idolized the guys that were able to go travel and and make their art as some kind of a living and then like couple of ways we were able to do what we were able to do and we got to have some of those touring opportunities it's like when you're about to play a show this is going to be really good or this is just really not and you're just like I think this is good. Like getting good reception. So like, oh, I, fuck it. you know, like you get some confidence. I think you're gonna like this. I, <laughs> like, I, I like being able to just like do this well now. That's yeah. the best part of it. What sort of lyrical content do you usually like to write about? Okay. There are three of them that aren't really fitting into the story. There is a reference to the story. Extremist, a very tight social climate. Climate, you know, where it's just like, because we saw a lot of people on the left and they were so awesome, but then you saw like, we saw people in like Confederate flag jumpsuits out here too. So it's like, you get such extremes on either side. Helpless is hopeful. That's again, in like another political kind of thing. Wanting first taste in being a band out here was a band called Wanting. I liked the music. I liked all of that. It just like, wasn't the shell for me. Like I wanted to just like have a big, more communal vibe to it. Yeah. Selective Silence and Raging Sea will play part to the story that goes throughout the next seven releases. And that's, it's all kind of wrapped in metaphor. It tells a lot of my story about nine of the songs all together in kind of one big cohesive story is the idea. Yeah. What it's all about is, is pretty much like 2015 to now, like of my life, just yeah. like, which was, it was marked with a lot of like tragedy, but like a lot of good came from it too. I was like, homeless i lived in an rv I, I came out here in like on this big dream and all these other things and so it's like it's kind of just telling it tells it's, it's going to tell a whole story there are things that i know there are things that i don't there are places i'll remember one day i won't so break my break i break down who i used to be what's left of you My heart like goes out to the people of color that are that are out there right now pushing for something better. I think that that is the most American thing that you can actually do. I know that that's be actively aware that we are still here in support for the black communities. We're still here in support to see this world get a little less awful would be sick. Mm -hmm.